So hey guys, my name is Nicholas Chin. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Postco. Online shopping is growing really fast, but it's not about free shipping, it's not about massive discount, but it's the whole experience of online shopping. To be able to collect your parcel conveniently or to be able to return your parcel conveniently. But there's this massive problem. People are just not always at home. You know, you are out busy working, you're out busy partying. How do you solve this problem? Even logistic companies, when you, are, you have to be at a certain point, at a certain area of the time, logistic companies have to give you a call to see whether you're at home or not. This is a big cost for logistic companies as they have to travel back two times, three times, and the storage cost of misdelivery is a huge problem. Postco solved this by actually partnering with retail stores like cafes and pharmacies. We empower them with a system to actually uh, make use of their extra storage space and turn that into a parcel hub. Postco is the only solution in Southeast Asia right now whereby it's not integrated uh, to a sole online store or logistic player, which means that you can use Postco as your pickup point using WeChat or from ASOS, Lazada, or any, any shop, or even dropping Airbnb keys. Let me tell you how it works. It's basically, you go to our website, you find your nearest location, and that works as your alternative mailing address. You go to any website in the world, use that as your, your delivery address. So let's say you're in Hong Kong right now, and you're traveling to Malaysia soon, and you want to shop online there. Two days before you fly over, you can go to any of the Malaysian online store, send your parcel to a nearby cafe, nearby your hotel. It reaches there, collect it anytime you want. Our second acquisition channel is through Click and Collect. We actually partner with online stores where we integrate our map at the checkout page. We instantly give them a few hundred locations for the customers to collect and return their deliveries. So in less than a few months, we already have 50 plus online stores integrated at the checkout page with brands like Adidas. It's a huge market. Click and Collect in the UK is worth at least 40% of the deliveries. But in Southeast Asia, it's less than a few percent. Let me tell you a bit of our superpowers. In less than a year, we already have 300 plus locations across the whole of Malaysia. We have scalable, we have plugins for Shopify, Magento, and also WooCommerce whereby we can integrate our map plus logistic solution in less than an hour. Uh, we have consistent organic growth since we start with zero marketing dollars spent. And the best part of it is that we, we monetize for multiple revenue stream. Customer payers for the 14 day storage period, online sell payers for the click and collect and also return solution, and logistic users as a field delivery uh, direction hub. And we are more scalable than, than parcel lockers. Up to today, we only spend 50,000 US dollars. That's the price of one parcel locker. But the product, we are bigger than this. Uh, we are also supporting an enterprise system whereby we work with retailers who has a vast network of retail stores, whereby we pioneer, click and collect, and return under one single system. And it's really proven as we are launching almost 500 plus stores uh, in the whole of Southeast Asia with a retailer where the back end is all powered by Postco. The team is diverse. Uh, guys from Philippines, Thailand, and Singapore with experience from Zomato and Sogo and so Tinkerbox Singapore. But before I end, Amazon and Alibaba is investing heavy on online and offline. In the next few years, it's not going to be uh, retail stores or e-commerce. It's going to be how online and offline is in a single experience. And Postco is leading the way. Thank you. Um, great work, Nicholas. Uh, we'll kick off the questions with Bradley. Um, first of all, super great pitch and <laughs> excited about the idea. Do you think the people at the counter at a cafe, at a hotel, sort of have the skills and bandwidth to sort of interface with consumers at this level, which is different than making a latte or booking a room? Mm -hmm. So the concept of what we're doing is that when we go to the local stores, we tell them like we're not disturbing like your operational issues. So like they tell them they have this system where they put exactly how much space they can so let's say if I'm a cafe, I think that 10 parcels is probably the max I can do. And on the system, is set 10 parcels. And when the 10 parcels really hit, on our system, we, they, their location won't be on the map anymore. Got it. So we give them the full control of the whole inventory and the whole uh, operational issues and everything else. Anna? Um, I, could you elaborate? I, I saw some of the revenue streams that you had, but I, didn't, I wasn't sure if, you were mm -hmm. the, if there was a business um, sort of agreement with the retail stores themselves, for, mm -hmm. for example, for the 10 parcels. Yep. Um, and what kind of value? I mean, are you thinking about bringing them, like, um, how do you mm -hmm. say, customer flow mm -hmm. into the store? I mean, uh, so the main, the main attraction for the retail stores is obviously the walk-in traffic, mm -hmm. um, but we also pay them a very small commission. That's about 10% of whatever we're earning from the online stores over the customers. 
Uh, so it's a really, really small percentage of what we're giving them. But I think the whole shakeup of the whole re offline retail chain dying is kind of like uh, opening up a lot of doors for us. Like they are way more open towards new ideas and way more open. And there's no setup fees at all for them. So for them to join our network is really easy compared to probably like three years ago or four years ago. Mm -hmm. So extension of that question, um, if you could sort of uh, give us a very simple math on how the unit economics work for mm -hmm. what you are paying for the, the retail store, what you are generating in terms of revenue, and what sort of a cost in between that you have to incur. What would that unit economics look like um, okay. in so simple terms? In as simple as it goes, we get a dollar from the online source or the customers, and then we pay the local source 20 cents just to pioneer the whole system together. But uh, I, I think there's an enterprise solution that we are trying to do. So that we charge a setup fee, we provide the whole system, backend system to the enterprise, we, we connect the whole training and everything else for the, for the retailer, and that's the whole omni-channel solution. So that's how we monetize from that side. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's it for uh, pitch finalist number one. Uh, big massive round of applause to Nicholas Chen. Thank you, guys.